Hello and welcome to Big Friendly Grub. I hope you are well. Now, if you were around earlier this week and you watched the video I put out, then you will have seen I showed you how to make homemade peanut butter because peanut butter is the best, don't at me. You would have also seen how easy it is to make peanut butter at home. You literally need peanuts and a bit of salt and that's it, you can make peanut butter. Now, we're gonna continue along that theme this week because I'm gonna show you how to make peanut butter brownies because what's better than a brownie? A brownie with peanut butter in it. Unless of course you're allergic to peanuts, in which case brownies without peanuts in is probably better. But these are super easy as well. Not quite as easy as just chucking peanuts into a food processor, but they're still pretty darn easy. These are some of my favorite brownies to make. They are not only super, super tasty, but they've also got a heck of a lot of protein in because I also like to mix it up and use a bit of peanut powder. Let me show you over here. See, this is peanut powder and it is very, very good for putting into things just to give them an extra peanut butter flavor. And really it's, usually used in like protein shakes and things like that but I really like to use a little less flour and add some of this instead just to up the peanut butterness. Enough explaining let's get started making peanut butter brownies because I can't wait for these. That was either very aggressive or very excited I'm not sure which. Anyway let's get started. Right the first thing we need to do on our peanut butter brownies is simply add in to a pan 250 grams or a whole block of butter Starting off on a healthy note here, and 250 grams of dark chocolate. This is about 70% cocoa. That's the minimum I would recommend for this. Then we're going to want about 200 grams of peanut butter. So that's about half of this non-specific jar of peanut butter that I have here. So I'm going to go use about half of this. We're going to keep half back for later. You'll see why. Then lastly, 50 milliliters or a double espresso's worth of coffee, because this really just brings out the extra chocolatiness of the chocolate. Just stir it around until it comes all together. Just keep an eye on it because you don't want it to burn at the bottom of the pan. This is about over a medium heat, so it should be fairly gentle, but should also not take too long. So that's only been a couple of minutes and that has already all melted and combined together. So I'm going to turn the heat off and move this to one side and just let it cool down a bit while we carry on with the rest of our mixture. Who has two thumbs and just did the next two steps in the recipe without hitting record on the camera, thereby rendering everything he did pointless? This guy! So I just had to go out and buy more ingredients to be able to do the next couple of steps. But it's fine. It really is actually because this recipe is so simple it's meant I, I can actually rush out, get more ingredients and still do the recipe again. So it's fine, it really is. But yes, I'm an idiot. Right, are we recording? We are recording. Hooray! Right, let's do this again. So once we've done our chocolatey mixture, as I did twice, we now need to do 350 grams of caster sugar into a large bowl. So there we go, there's 350 grams of caster sugar, and we need to add in six eggs. Well, there's 12 here, but we need to add in half of these. And I am going to just go ahead and crack all of these in, because you don't need to sit here and watch me crack them all in, because that would be well, quite boring for you. In fact, you might say it's excruciating. I did that joke earlier and it doesn't quite have quite the same effect the second time around. <sighs> oh well. Right, now we've got our eggs cracked into our sugar. We need to beat them together until they're lighter in color and a bit fluffier. I'm going to use my new hand mixer here, which previously hadn't had a run out until now. And now it's had a run out twice because I did this earlier. Anyway, let's go again. So let's mix these together. Right, we've whisked together our eggs and sugar until they're lighter in color and got a nice bit of air into them. We don't want to like whisk them into like really creamy peaks or anything like that because it's not a cake but this will do nicely. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly mix in our chocolatey mixture a bit at a time to make sure that we don't overcook the to make sure we don't cook the eggs basically with this still warm mixture add in a bit at a time. Then finish whisking this all together. Right, that's all well combined. 
And we just need to get in there with our dry ingredients. So we want 100 grams of flour, plain flour, 50 grams of our peanut powder. Now, as I said earlier, if you don't have this, then you can just put in more flour. Just add in another 50 grams of flour, but I like adding this because it adds an extra peanutty layer of flavor to our brownies. 50 grams of cocoa, because this isn't chocolatey enough yet, <laughs> he says. And then just about, probably about a teaspoon's worth of salt. And no, I haven't sifted any of it because our hand mixer will do the job for us. It'll get out any of those lumps. There we go, that's our brownie mixture all mixed together. You can see how nice and smooth and glossy that is. And now it's just time to get it into a baking tray or whatever you want to call it and get these into the oven. Finally. Right, I have here my baking vessel. I'm going to call it my baking vessel, that sounds cool, but it's actually like a silicon brownie um, tray type thing because it's non-stick and I prefer to use this. So we're just going to transfer in our brownie batter into this. Oh, it's my huge bowl. Right, that is our brownie mixture into our baking vessel, but we're not quite done yet. Oh no, no, no. You remember the half a jar of peanut butter we saved earlier? Oh yes, that's right. We're going to delve into here and just start getting as much of this out of here, plopping it. Plopping is the word. There's no delicate way of doing this. And just get it onto here. Just dot it around. When you have that roughly over there, just then kind of just slice it into your batter so you almost get like a marbled effect. Try and move it around so you get that peanut butter kind of mixed throughout there. Every now and again, we just get a nice lump of peanut butter, which kind of lifts this a little bit. Now, these are gonna go into the oven. I'm putting them in at 220 degrees C, but I'm turning it straight back down to 160 degrees C and probably bake them for about 30 minutes, but it really depends on how long you wanna bake these for because you might like your brownies a bit gooey or you might not like them quite so gooey, in which case vary the cooking time for you but I'm popping these in for probably about 30 minutes. Right, it has been about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna pull these out of the oven. Ugh. Look at that, that has risen up a lot. And I think we've still got a bit of give in the middle, which is good, because I mean, we want brownies, not cake. These are brownies, so they need to be a bit gooey. What we're going to have to do now, unfortunately, is leave these to cool. So yeah, I'm just going to have to show a bit of patience, unfortunately. So we'll come back in about, I don't know, I'll give it an hour and see how we're going. I'm running out of time, basically. It's got dark now because it's November and it gets dark before five o'clock. So we'll just speed this along, shall we? Right, we've had some cooling time. Not as much as I would have liked, only about an hour. These need to really usually cool completely, but that could take a good few hours and I don't have a good few hours to unfortunately let these cool. But I have already sliced them up and they are super gooey brownies. Have a look at one of these, look. Oh, look at that lovely gooey brownie. Probably more gooey than it would be if uh, it chance to cool completely, but it still looks really, really good. And I am going to go and pop this onto a plate like so, and we're going to go and give it a try because I've been waiting ages for these. I had to do two batches of these as well. So I've blooming earned it. Let's go and give it a try. Right, despite camera gate, where I forgot to turn on the camera earlier, we do have some lovely peanut butter brownies and they are looking super gooey and they smell amazing. And I can guarantee you that they're gonna taste bloody brilliant, I think. Um, I've made these several times before and they always come out really well. And it was about time I actually did a video on them. So we have done that. Yeah, I am going to waste no more time because I am going to eat this gosh darn brownie. Excuse my language. Mm. Well, that's looking super gooey. Mm. 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 Mm, no. Sorry, all sorts of noises there. Let me assure you, they're all good. <clears throat> Maybe not for you to hear, but for me. <laughs> and that is great. I got a big old wodge of like gooey brownie, but also a bit of the peanut butter that I dragged through earlier. And that was really, really good. Yeah, they're just such good brownies. You can't go wrong with them. I, like I said, I've made them several times before, but 
I felt they deserved a video of their own. And they are really, really good. And they are really simple. I've made two batches today because I kind of had to, <laughs> but just goes to show how easy they are. And they are one of my favorites. So if you are a fan of brownies and peanut butter, I urge you to give them a go. And if you do, let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me know if they can be improved in some way, because I'm never going to say these are the perfect brownie, but they are really good. So if you make them, let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, then give it a like. If you enjoy the channel, give it a subscribe, all that stuff. And I am going to go off and enjoy the rest of this brownie. And that's it. I will see you next time on Big Friendly Grub. Bye.